So we followed up with the Raw show on Monday, and you saw some good and some bad. Yeah, and, and, and it's funny, the good, because the good's something I didn't even particularly care for, but it's like Bad Bunny. Like, I had no idea who this dude was. Like, when I... I think I might have heard that there's a, a video with Booker T. Like, I might have saw a clip somewhere, and I'm like, okay, who the hell is that? But I'm a 50-year-old white guy from Canada. And I asked my, you know, I, I tweeted out, you know, it's like, you know, can someone younger and cooler than me explain, like, is this guy actually a big deal? And I asked my daughter, who's 20, and she absolutely knew who Big Bunny was, that every one of her friends and anyone her age would know who this guy is. He's a big deal. So it's like, I'm like, okay. And to that end, I think he's a great um, guest guy for Raw in that WWE needs to attract some young viewers. Like, that should be their primary goal right now is we need to find some younger viewers for not only just the demo, but for our future, because eventually, you know, us old guys will die. So they want to attract a young viewer. So they got this guy that has a, you know, a pretty big, loyal, young fan base. And Bunny is obviously a fan, which I think is important, too, because you can tell when these celebrities come on and promote Summerfest and they get the terms wrong and you can just tell they have no idea who anybody is. And it just makes wrestling seem uncool because it's like if you're a fan of, you know, pick a celebrity and you tune in and you can tell he thinks this show is beneath him where Bad Bunny genuinely looks like he's a wrestling fan because apparently he is. So if you're a, you know. A, a fan of his and you tune into the show it's like well he thinks this show's cool so maybe i'll think the show's cool and then the nice thing with with miz is you know miz is the perfect foil because miz is miz whether you put the world title on him or beat him ten thousand times i believe everyone's view of miz is the same miz is whatever level you think of a star miz is today you're going to think he's at that level tomorrow so you can sacrifice him and have him take some bumps for Bad Bunny. And I think tying him with Damian Priest is brilliant because, again, I believe Damian Priest is Puerto Rican too. I'm assuming that was the connection. So if, you know, if he brings a Latino fan base in and a Puerto Rican fan base in and they see Damian Priest getting the rub from Bad Bunny, it's like they might be able to convert a few more young fans and help get this Damian Priest guy over. And, you know, doing a tag with Miz and Morrison, if the guy gets some training, it might be might be fun, might uh, draw some viewers. I thought it was a, a success, even though it's not something that me as a fan particularly enjoys. If you love these video clips, head down there to the bottom right-hand side of the screen and click Join. For just $7.99 per month, you get full access to all of the episodes, over 300 at current count, Full-length episodes of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, and Figure Four Daily with both Lance Storm and Filthy Tom Lawler. You can also hit that subscribe button, and you'll always be alerted as to when new shows are available.